Firstly, you'll need a regs book and a calculator. Appendix four is about volt drop, and in this regs book, pages 338 shows the voltage drop allowed, which in a uh, private supply for lighting is 6%, which is 13.8 volts allowed at 230 volts, and 8% for all other uses, and that's 18.4 volts. Pages 342 to 347, again of this regs book, if you're using a different regs book, just check the pages, they might not be uh, tallied up with this one. And we're gonna use method 20, which is clip direct, and they're all different methods, with these ones being for uh, twin and earths, and you can read what method applies to you. Now, we're basically going to be installing a, let's say, a SWA from a house to an outhouse, and in that outhouse we want to put a sauna. The sauna, which is the load, let's say that's 40 amps. So firstly, on this regs book 362, page 362, is your tables for the current capacity in the cable that's the top and in the bottom is the volt drop which is your millivolt per amp per meter so firstly find out which cable we're using method c which is these two columns and we are using single phase ac so that rules it down to this column and let's just go across or down should we say until we reach the figure so you can see there 49 amps and that's a six mil. So you basically just go down till you find one that's within the amount you want. So 49 amps, that's uh, plenty, so six mil. Then you go to the table below, which is the volt drop table. And again, you find six mil and go across to the two core single phase, which is there and that's 7.3 millivolts you get drop per amp per meter. So now you come to the formula. The formula is there just at the top. So if you forget it, it's there. And that's uh, millivolts times the amount of amps you want, which in our case is 40 amps times the length. And the length we're going to say is 40 meters. The calculation for that is 7.3, which is here, times your 40 meters, times 40 amps. Now that gives you 11,680 millivolts. And because we work in volts, we need to convert that into volts. So divide it by 1,000, because the 7.3 is in millivolts, and that gives you 11.68 volts so if you go back to page 338 the volt drop allowed at 230 volts for all other uses other than lights is eight percent which is 18.4 volts so you can see our 11.68 volt drop is within the parameter of um, 18.4 so that is okay if you find that after working out your volt drop, it's above the um, maximum allowed, which is 6% or 8% of the voltage you're working with, then you simply do the same calculation again using a larger cable. And the larger the cable, the less the volt drop.